Hey everybody, it's Dan, and I'm coming at you with another review today. This one I'm pretty excited about. It's about a piece of equipment that I just bought recently, and I wanted to do a initial review, kind of first reaction for you. Uh, this is a product, like I said, I just bought, so I don't have a lot of time with it, but I just wanted to give my first impressions and share it with you. Um, the piece of gear that I just recently got that I'm talking about here is a US General five drawer mechanics rolling tool cart. And I'm trying to get the whole thing in there. Um, I do these videos with my phone, so bear with me. But that's the whole thing. And uh, please excuse my messy garage. We're in the middle of a couple of building projects and some kind of rearranging out here. So it's a little bit messy, but anyway. So there you go. Um, I, I went to uh, Harbor Freight because I had gotten a circular in the mail and this particular tool cart normally runs 229. I had a coupon for 189 for the tool cart and I have seen reviews online for this particular tool cart and most of them have been extremely positive. So, um, and this was just what I was looking for. The purpose of me getting this cart was, I, I, you probably can see my garage in the background. I have tools scattered all over. I have some on pegboards. I have a couple of different uh, toolboxes where things are kind of scattered. And what I wanted is I wanted one kind of cart that I could just kind of put everything that I use, like my most used items, like my drill impact driver, you know, some socket sets, just your kind of general everyday use tools that you kind of reach for all the time. And I wanted them kind of in one place consolidated and the fact that this has wheels on it, I thought it'd be cool, you know, cause you can roll it over to where you're working. You got everything there. And so that was kind of my purpose for this. Uh, I'm not a professional by any means. I'm kind of a do it yourself, self or hobbyist, uh, carpenter mechanic. Um, so I just like to, I, you know, just like to tinker with things and fix things and all that. So I wanted everything, you know, within reach when I'm working. And uh, I thought for the price, 189 bucks, I thought, you can probably hear sirens in the background, so just excuse me. I'm in, in my garage, obviously. Um, but anyway, I just kind of wanted a one-stop shop for me. I wanted to be able to just put everything that I most use 90% of the time in this one place. So that's why I went for this. I figured for $189, I'd seen good reviews about them. I'd go ahead and take a chance on it. I know a lot of people knock Harbor Freight. Uh, they're kind of known for cheap tools. In the past, they've been known for cheap tools. Uh, they still do have a lot of cheap tools there. But at the same time, Harbor Freight's really starting to, um, they're really starting to up their game and they're starting to put out some higher end tools because uh, they're starting to try to compete with some of the bigger brands, the Craftsman's, the Snap-ons and things like that. So um, anyway, I figured I'd give them a try. 189 bucks, what the heck. So my first impressions, my initial reaction, it's actually a really impressive, especially for the price. Uh, this box is very well built. It did come in, in pieces. You, there is a little bit of assembly. I'll have to tell you that. Um, the box comes all in one piece. When you get it, you have to put um, this bottom drawer. You have to put the um, casters on it. You do have to put the post um, that hold the box. You do have to put them together. Um, it comes with all the bolts that you need. Uh, and then you will have to put the lids on, but you'll have to put the, uh, the struts on it. These are the hydraulic struts. Uh, so just a little bit about the box itself. Um, it is, uh, it's, uh, 30 inches wide. It's about 19 inches, uh, deep. This top compartment is, uh, I think I said it was close to about five inches. I think I measured it earlier. It's about five inches deep. And then you've got five drawers here in the front. Uh, they do lock. Uh, you have one kind of deep set drawer right here. And then you've got two smaller drawers here. These are shallower drawers. Um, like I said, they do lock. They've got a latch here. And I think if there's a, I think if there's a point that, you know, I would say that might be a weak point to this, it is the latches. Uh, these are plastic latches. So I, I feel like over time you may get into a situation where, you know, these latches, they could potentially break on you or, you know, just wear out. Um, so just be aware of that. It's not a metal latch, um, but they lock in pretty good. You've got um, 
you've got a, a nice big 30 inch wide shallow drawer and then you've got a, a 30 inch wide deeper drawer. This one's about as deep as the top is, so it's probably about four and a half to five inches deep. Uh, and then you've got the um, shelf on the bottom. Uh, the casters on it are super beefy and two of them swivel and lock. The two on one side are just set. And then you've got these two swivelers on the back. Uh, there is a handle on this back side, so you can kind of wheel it around. Uh, there's your, there's the handle right there. Also on the handle side and the swivel side, you have a, a tray here where you can put your WD-40 cans, paint cans, your brake cleaner, any of that kind of stuff, any cans there. Uh, what's kind of cool is they did include a regular brace. If for some reason you didn't want the tray, they have just the regular brace that you could put in there. Um, the other thing too is they have, um, they have these little drawer liners in here uh, not super fancy. I was just surprised, honestly, that there was a drawer liner in them at all. Um, it's very, very thin. It's just a very thin rubber, and it's kind of held in there by static electricity. kind of just clings in there. But, you know, it's enough to kind of protect the, the powder coat until maybe you get another, which I'm going to do. I'm going to go get probably some better uh, drawer liners and put in here. But I was honestly surprised that they even had a drawer liner in them at all. Uh, the struts for the for the lid um, they're pretty stout you know it takes a little bit of a push to get them to close um, but once it's closed you know nice and good and when it's closed when the lid is closed it does lock the drawers out so you can't open the drawers i'm sure that's you know for safety if you're rolling around you don't want a drawer to come sliding out on you um, and then you lift the drawer and it, it pretty much will come right up nice and smooth these are the locking mechanisms, so if for some reason you decided you wanted to be able to close the lid and still be able to open the drawers, I don't think it would take that much to just kind of kind of figure something out to where you could just have those down. Or sorry, have them up. You could probably figure out where you can pull them out, not down. Down locks them. Um, anyway, so yeah, so that's it. That's uh, this 30... 30 an inch five drawer US general tool cart and so I would have to say that my initial impression uh, after putting this thing together and seeing kind of how it's constructed my initial impression is I'm very impressed for 189 bucks I think you'd be hard-pressed to find something um, similar to it I, I there's probably tons of tool carts out there but for the price and for the build quality, I think it's really hard to beat. And I think that you can go online and you can just, you know, there's other reviews out there. I've seen people that have recommended them. And uh, um, also what I didn't throw in there, the money that I saved by getting the coupon, I actually picked up, they also sell this detachable um, side tray. And all it does is fold right up there. And then you've got a little bit more workspace to add to your your cart and this shelf apparently holds about 30 pounds so you can use this to I don't know if you're putting plans on it or just putting pieces and parts and stuff like that on it but it's you know it's, it's very simple you just lift it up and that little piece falls back down and you can fold it right out of the way so anyway yeah and just you know just right in there so yeah So I would highly recommend this thing for my first review. Maybe I'll do a review six, seven months down the road after I beat this thing up a bit and uh, put some wear and tear on it. But my initial impression, it's, it's an excellent piece of gear for under 200 bucks. If you can get that uh, coupon, uh, I would say go, sell, go get yourself one. They have them in red, black, the blue color. Uh, they have an orange, a yellow, and a lime green color. So they pretty much have colors that will fit every taste. Um, so I would, uh, I would say go out and grab one. If you're, you know, looking for something like me, you just want to consolidate your equipment and um, just have something that's mobile. I know a lot of people have the big uh, tool chest that they have in their garage to store stuff. 
but this is nice because it's mobile. You can move it around and you can hold a pretty good amount of equipment in it. I think it actually says it has a 700 pound capacity, tool capacity. So you can put a lot of stuff in this cart. Uh, as far as how much it weighs, I think on the box it weighs about 100. The chest itself, the whole package, I think it weighs about 150 pounds. So it's uh, definitely, it's a two person thing, getting it, you know, unwrapped and all that kind of stuff and then putting it together it helps to have an extra set of hands but anyway uh this video is getting a little long i uh, just wanted to kind of give you an initial impression recommendation i do recommend it i think it's a good piece of equipment especially for the price so check it out go to harbor freight see what kind of you know deals they have and um, if you're in the market for it you know grab one all right i hope everybody's out there is doing well and thanks for watching my video